I think it would be a grave injustice to all those brave people who lost their lives today if those sacrifices only result in the dialogue process being derailed because then the militants have succeeded and the rest of us have failed. And therefore, while I understand there is a political compulsion for some parties to call for an end to the dialogue process as a result of this attack, I believe that our soldiers, our policemen, those civilians, did not lay down their lives for the militants to succeed. They laid down their lives for, for, for peace uh, to be restored, for normality to be restored. And if for that a dialogue process is essential, then the dialogue process must continue.